pilots. What would it be like to be one of them? What would your day be like? What would you most look forward to? In fact, I did post a poll over on Patreon. What's the best part about being an Eagle pilot? Got some fun responses. JM said, I'd like to say exploration and the chance to be the first off alpha to see a new alien world. But really my answer is the feeling of coming back to alpha, knowing that I was able to bring an eagle home without breaking it. Yes, that's the, that's the dream, isn't it? <laughs> we lost so many eagles. Someday I'm gonna go back and do a rewatch and count how many, because I bet it's a lot. Got a couple of the ships are cool. Robert said, the chicks. Moonbase Alpha is full of hot chicks. They love Eagle Pilots. You know, you're, uh, you're not wrong there. <laughs> Strut down the halls. Hi. What's up? <laughs> Mark said, well, if it goes reels of cotton on the base, you could try and fly back to Earth. That would be a long way. I think it would be safer to try and fly back to the nearest habitable planet that the moon went past recently. But I get you. Being able to just leave if you want to. It does make me wonder how many people knew how to fly an eagle. Like they weren't pilots, but how many of the average person there could have jumped in an eagle and gone, okay, I know the basics of flying this. Like, is there flight training? Did Carter hold little flight classes for the technicians? <laughs> no, no, not that lever. That lever. No, no, that's the missiles. <sighs> These are the engines. All right, so what are the kinds of things that might have happened if you were an Eagle pilot? You get up, you go get breakfast, you get your coffee in the really cool mug with the, the color on the bottom, I think it was. I forget how many colors there were, but I'd go for the green one. And I wouldn't have coffee, I'd have tea. You walk down the hall. Yeah, I'm an Eagle pilot. Yeah. <laughs> and then, I mean, I guess you'd be mostly doing kind of reconnaissance, exploration, good morning. And occasionally, I guess, if there was a potential threat in the area, you and some of the other eagles would launch just to kind of run cap, as they would call it in Battlestar Galactica, and just kind of look out for threats. And then once in a while, you get that call. We're under attack. <laughs> Protect Moonbase Alpha. <laughs> and you get to go out there with your laser. Pew, 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 pew. That'd be fun. All right, so let's talk Eagle modules. To me, that's one of the coolest things about them is they're so versatile. Because it's kind of like the up shape and then in between you have where you can stick things like there were, I think, rescue eagle modules, like the passenger ones. I think there were various passenger ones, actually. There were the like the cargo holder and various grips. I think there was an orange one that was kind of round that would go down and grab stuff and pull it up. Yeah. So I'm thinking what other modules might you want? You're going down to an alien planet. I, I mean, I think they have it covered. Oh, a lounge bar module. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> you go back there and it's just all these little tables, full like bar set up, little dance floor, the VIP module. 
Yes, Sean. The model would have been so fun to play with. Oh my goodness. Yeah, just going around the house. Exploring strange new living rooms. Yes. All right, so you're the Eagle Pilot. You have run your patrol. You've come back to Alpha. Now what do you do? I'm guessing go to the lounge. Like the sauna area that we saw in a couple of episodes and just lie, lie back and relax until aliens go running through because they always conveniently go running through that room to show it off. And you're like, oh, oh look, we're under attack again. Huh. This always happens. <laughs> you enjoy the lounge. And then let's see, what do you want to do next? Maybe go play some games because there was the little game room. Yeah, relax, play some games. Okay, then you get the call. Alpha, just be defended. So you go running, you get into the transportation thing and you go along, you get in your eagle. Do you have a co-pilot? I'm assuming you do. So what kind of co-pilot would you want? Do you want someone who's really, really brash and like, yeah, let's do this wild idea thing when we're fighting the aliens? Or do you want a very calm, reserved co-pilot who's like, yes, I believe that the logical response is to fire missiles. But we only have two, so perhaps we should save them. Or do you want a co-pilot who you can kind of like switch off with if you need to? You know, like, let's, let's switch jobs for a bit. And it's basically completely your equal, you trust them. Who would you want? I would tend to be more reserved in my flying, so I would need someone more like Carter who would push me to do a little bit more wild things with my flying. Like, yes, you can do that barrel roll around the alien ship, you know? Oh, you collected models. That would be neat. Oh yeah, hanging from strings and stuff, it's models. I went to a pub in the UK and they had a bunch of model airplanes hanging by strings. Can you imagine having that, but with eagles in your room? Mm. All right, so you're in your eagle. Here come the asteroids or the alien ships. Got to get into formation, follow whatever Carter tells you to do. <laughs> and hopefully bring back the eagle in one piece. I mean, as cool as it is, the odds of getting blown up spectacularly on screen are very high if you're not a main character. So you might not survive back to base. Is it worth it to have that moment of glory on screen as your eagle spectacularly becomes a shower of sparks? I don't know. But let's say you made it, you got back. What would your room be like? Because I feel like everyone has been decorating their rooms differently. Like Koenig, he loves collecting rocks and stuff. We have, of course, the weapons display in the infamous episode. I've seen all kinds of other stuff. Hmm. You can probably only bring a few personal items with you. So what would they be to put on your wall? I probably end up having swords and spears as well. I'll be honest. Cause I feel like they'd be useful in addition to decorative. Cause if the base is attacked, you can just run to your room and just boom, falchion. <laughs> yes, they're like the red shirts on original Star Trek or the blue shirts if you're a woman. Very interesting factoid that I noticed when I was watching the original series. 
Red shirts for the guys, blue shirts for the women, if you're gonna get injured or killed. <laughs> and then if you're Voyager, don't be in engineering. Oh, we lost so many. Yeah. But, Eagle Pilots, imagine how awesome it would be, even though you are kind of a red shirt. Red sleeve, well, kind of. <laughs> Where did they get all their eagles from? They got through more than Voyager got through shuttlecraft. Yeah, my headcanon is that when they could salvage, they would salvage pieces of the eagles that, I don't know, fell back to the moon. And they had a whole department whose entire job was building new eagles out of what they had around. In fact, it would have been fun towards the end of the series if some of the models looked a little bit more duct taped together. You know, pieces that don't quite fit, colors that look mismatched, you know, clearly damaged sections. It would have been interesting. Having the eagles at the beginning of the series just pristine. And at the end, it's like, does that even fly? <laughs> Oh, you taped boarded and plastic bagged comics on your walls and you couldn't see the wall. Wow, that would be an incredibly cool display. I currently, what I did is I uploaded, well, I took a picture of some of my favorite comic book sections and had them printed out and put on foam core. So my wall has little stacks of foam core of my favorite moments of like Doctor Strange with his cape out stuff like that yeah i don't have any space 1999 stuff up though i need to rectify this <laughs> i don't know what i'd want though probably picture of helena <laughs> i really want to get with those little door controls that would be so fun just the prop so that I could walk around the house going and then opening the door because it doesn't actually open the door, but you know. Or if we could get a smart home that actually does auto open doors, only the trigger for it is the Space 1999 device. I would be so here for that. Somebody please get on this because we're adults and have money now and we want to have actual Space 1999 technology. I mean, we're past 1999. We can do this. I do like all the little monitors in the corridor and stuff, because we have that ability now. So it is very surreal watching the series because we have a lot of the technology that they're using, but we also don't have things like eagles, alas. All right, so you're the pilot. You are done for the day. I'm curious, what's your like drink of choice with dinner? We know they had punch and we know ha they had like a few bottles of brandy and stuff that people had brought. You'd wanna save them for a really, really special occasion though, I feel like, but they were around. And obviously they had some kind of a coffee or tea. Definitely water. I'm presuming juice because we had, I think, trees. So you have like lemons and oranges. So you could have probably lemonade. I don't know. What would, what would I choose? For really, really important, we got to mark this occasion. I'd probably pull out the wine. But the problem is wine only lasts even with argon like a couple weeks. So once you open it, that's it, even with a Corvin. So, hmm, I feel like that would be invite the other Eagle pilots over and have a little mini party kind of a situation. Oh, 
Okay, Brad said, you did the same with your walls, but posters from magazine subscriptions for the Trek movies. Okay, yeah. That would be really neat, a whole Star Trek wall. I'm trying to think what I did as a, a teenager. I had mostly Star Wars, I would say. Lots of like Mace Windu and <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> he was iconic to me because he had a purple lightsaber. You see, as a, as a child, this is very important, what color the lightsaber is. Yeah. Now I mostly have comic books. I have Firefly. I have Lord of the Rings, huge picture of Minas Tirith. And I think the Mother Confessor from the Sword of Truth series, Kaelin. That's what's on my walls currently. <laughs> Let's see. So I guess bringing magazine covers and comic book covers would actually be a really smart move because it wouldn't take up that much room to pack them and bring them to the moon. It would take up, you know, this much. So I think that's a good idea to just bring a whole stack of like magazines and stuff and then you can post them all over your quarters. People would walk in and go, you really like Star Trek? And you're like, yes, I do. Yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> Let's see, as an Eagle pilot, I would probably most enjoy the exploration part though. We've found a new planet. You're going on a little bit ahead. You're checking it out. You don't know what's gonna be there. You don't know if the air is breathable. And then I would be really excited to look for alien civilizations, like archeology span kind of things where you stumble on this deserted palace slash temple and you're like, ooh, what's in here? What were they like? I really appreciate how the translating parts on Space 1999 were fairly accurate because they stumbled a lot with the translation. You have things like Stargate and Daniel, as much as I like him, is like looking at these completely alien glyphs and goes, yes, this means they really liked salad. That is the precise translation. And you're like, how did you know that? For Space 1999, they're like, well, this glyph could mean salad or it could mean water park. I mean, it could go either way. Maybe they really liked, but you know, that glyph might be meaning liked or, hmm, it might actually mean did not want to miss. So this could mean I do not want to miss water parks or I love salad. I'm not sure which one it is. And that's much more accurate, I feel like, to actual translating. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. But I want to be that person, the like eagle pilot slash archaeologist. In the Space 1999 timeline, there were Star Wars movies. That is true. There could have been Star Wars fans on Moonbase Alpha. <laughs> All right, so there was a lot of variety of cultures there, but they probably celebrated Halloween. Imagine dressing up on Moonbase for Halloween and you're the Star Wars fan and you go as like a Star Wars character. That would be so surreal. You're like in space, <laughs> dressed as a sci-fi hero for Halloween. <laughs> that would just be hilarious to me.
Your favorite movie, Thomas, is The Last Samurai. Oh, I haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah, there's certain films that just get you in the feels and you just really connect with them. Mm -hmm. For me, it's Gladiator. But <laughs> I don't know why, it's just keeps popping back up as my favorite film. It's, it's very closely tied with Casablanca, but it's usually just a tiny edge up. Eagles were one of the most logical spacecraft in sci-fi. I agree. Yeah, especially that module part where they could really switch out what they really are. Oh, imagine the moon base ladies wearing the UFO catsuits and purple wigs. <laughs> I keep forgetting the exact timeline of when UFO versus Space 1999 would have happened. I think UFO was earlier, so it is completely possible on Halloween that you could get, I feel like, moon base personnel dressed as moon base personnel. I think I have my Halloween costume if I was ever on the moon. I would have to go as moon base, purple wig. Yeah. <laughs> and there would be some older people there be like, oh yes, I remember when we had to wear that. Space above and beyond. I'm not sure if that's on the list. My, to be honest, my Excel list is very long. It has several hundred on it, but I'll get your vote on there if it's not already on there. Okay, final question. Would you wanna be Carter's co-pilot? or have your own eagle and you're the main pilot. I don't know. I feel like I would be safer with Carter, but not necessarily because sometimes I think I recall his co-pilots kind of didn't make it. But I feel like my odds would be slightly higher if I was with him. <laughs> yeah, Carter a thousand percent, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Sean, you want your own eagle? You respect that? Yeah. However it happened, or whether you get blown up spectacularly at the beginning or end of the episode, I feel like it would be worth it. So thank you for coming along on this random conversation about how awesome eagles are.